Okay, welcome to another edition of Real Estate Investor Talk, and I'm sitting here with Andrew Golding. Andrew is the CEO of Pam Golding Properties. Um, first of all, welcome. Thank you. Um, maybe you should just take us on a little bit of a journey where Pam Golding Properties first started. I think it was 1976. Yeah, started in 1976 with my mom. I am Pam Golding. So she was a single uh, agent and uh, grew the business uh, quite quickly, was in the right place at the right time here in Cape Town, uh, selling mainly in the top end of the Cape Town market. She was a natural entrepreneur and uh, before too long the business started to grow and uh, as entrepreneurs do, offices were created and here we are, 42 years later, we 300 offices, uh, 1,500 agents, wow. and we're in 15 different countries. Wow, let's talk about technology, real estate, the future, mm. and, and in fact, you've invested in easy.com, yeah. Yeah. an online um, uh, agency, if you can call it that. Yeah. Um, tell us about, I mean, how do you see this panning out? Because the business, the business, more, it's changing, isn't mm. it? Yeah. Well, I, I'm, I'm, I think it is in one way and not in another. For us, the core real estate traditional model is one that uh, we believe in and we think has huge legs. But um, on the flip side, I think as uh, technology develops, uh, more and more choices need to be offered, predominantly because we think there's a significant opportunity for our group in the lower end of the South African market. We, we have a very good uh, market share in the top end, mm -hmm. but our market share as you go down the market uh, decreases quite significantly. And the South African property market is, is predominantly under 2 million rand right. uh, in terms of numbers of transactions. Mm -hmm. And our market share is not great there. And we think that there's an opportunity with a hybrid agency business, uh, which still doesn't disintermediate agents. And I think there's, a, there's an important distinction there. Agents are still involved. They're just involved in a different way right. and uh, in a much more efficient and centralized way than right. the traditional model right. uh, is something that we think we want to offer to clients mm -hmm. uh, and also that you know perhaps uh, if the dig digital trends around the world are um, going to be replicated here then this could make up as much as 20 or 30 percent of the South African market and wow. that, that's a chunky uh, mm -hmm. sizable amount and particularly in the bottom end. All right. So looking ahead, I mean, where would you like to be, um, say, 10 years from now in that space? Would you like to, I mean, you're the first then. Yeah, from, so, from so, of so, the traditional so I think we'd like to be yeah. as significant in that space as we are in the traditional space. Right. Uh, and we want to make sure that if that develops into a really significant trend, and there are some commentators who are predicting that it might make up as much as 60%, of the new real estate market, then clearly that's something we just can't ignore and we want to be there and hopefully be a market leader in that space. Okay, so tell us a little bit about the bid, is it BIDX1? Yeah. yeah. What, is, what, what is that all about? Yeah, so, so we've got um, aspirations really in terms of the long-term vision of the group to be a comprehensive property services group. So that's about um, really taking any property service and making sure that we're able to operate it both within South Africa, but also in terms of the African continent where we have a particular uh, view. And BIDEX is a online uh, auction platform, uh, originally out of Ireland, now in the UK. They are very significant in the UK and Irish markets in the online auction business. And they have a fantastic tech platform which we've uh, bought into, so we are JV partners of theirs. Mm -hmm. uh, they're coming in South Africa as BIDEX One South Africa. Right. And we are going to be uh, launching this in the, early in the new year. Uh, it's a pure online uh, digital auction platform going to be targeting the entire South African property market, so commercial, residential. It's an extremely efficient, transparent, uh, user-friendly, tech-enabled process. Right, so it looks like you're covering all bases, yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know about all bases, but we've, we've, um, it, it's really coincidental that these two uh, acquisitions have happened at the same time. Mm -hmm. They've been part of a view that we've had around uh, looking at uh, future trends for quite some time. It mm -hmm. just happens that they both came together in this quarter of the financial year. Right. But we are seeing sort of commissions under pressure. Yeah. I mean, we've just seen our FNB have launched in there. <laughs> and they're playing in your, your sort of yeah. area now. Yeah. What are your thoughts around that? Well, I think it's going to be interesting to see how, uh, how this plays out. Um, mm -hmm. Certainly, it's taken the industry by surprise. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think it's uh, not sh exactly clear how... Uh, the market's going to react, but uh, certainly in terms of um, the the relative interests, it, it would appear that FNB have crossed the line in terms of providing um, a potential service 
which looks to disintermediate agents. Mm -hmm. um, and that is something that they needed to have thought through, and maybe they have. Um, and how the industry reacts will be very interesting in the next little while. Yeah, I'm sure. Andrew Golding, CEO of Pam Golding Properties, thank you very much for the opportunity. Pleasure. Thank you.